the 76ers disposed of the Heat in five games and now wait for a semi-final matchup against the winner of Celtics vs. Bucks. USA Today Sports The Philadelphia 76ers became the first Eastern Conference team to reach the second round with a 104-91 victory against the Miami Heat on Tuesday. The 76ers snapped a fourth-quarter drought late when Marco Bellinelli drained a deep jumper and J.J. Redick followed with a three-pointer to stretch the lead before the home crowd was finally able to exhale. The Sixers held the Heat to just 38% shooting from the field in Game 5 and had the advantage over Miami on the glass, 53-40. Both teams embraced the physical nature of the playoffs as each side played with an edge, but Philadelphia consistently closed at games better. The Sixers outscored the Heat by 41 combined points in the fourth quarters of all five games. Riddick led the 76ers with 27 points followed by Joe Lambeed, 19 points, 12 rebounds, and Ben Simmons, 14 points, 10 rebounds. Third-seeded Philadelphia, which hasn't won a playoff series since 2012, will play the winner of the Milwaukee-Boston series and could be the favorite even if the second-seeded Celtics advance. All signs are pointing forward for the Sixers who are a joyful blend of young talent and quality veterans. A lot of people say that we have a bright future, Embiid said according to the Philadelphia Inquirer. But I think our time is now. We have a pretty good chance to contend for a title. We have a special team, you know, a lot of great guys. I don't think we need anybody else. They are fun, too. They play fast, look for threes, try to get Embiid the ball in the low post, let Simmons work his magic from the point guard spot and make a quality effort on defense. Philadelphia won just 28 games last season, but they look ready for a deep playoff run. The Sixers might be the best team in the EC, they've got everything, TNT basketball analyst Charles Barkley said before the game. Here's why the Sixers can advance to the NBA Finals. 1. Impressive since the start of the new year from January 1st through the end of the regular season, the Sixers had the best winning percentage, 76%, in the East. During that time, they had the 6th best offensive rating and 2nd best offensive rating, scoring 110.2 points and allowing 100.6 points per 100 possessions. That's an extended body of work. Philadelphia finished the regular season with 16 consecutive victories and then beat Miami, 4-1 in the first round, winning a game on the road, too. The 76ers have the 4th best net rating, and the best in the East, throughout the playoffs, too. Young talent Simmons and Embiid are two of the best young players in the NBA, and along with Dario Saric, the Sixers have one of the best young cores under 24 years old. Simmons and Embiid will be all-stars for a long time. Saric is a solid contributor and rookie Markle Fultz, who had an injury-plagued season, has a chance to be special. Simmons became the first rookie since Magic Johnson to record a playoff triple-double, and Embiid had a double-double and five blocks in his second playoff game. He 23 points in his playoff debut and deconstructed the Heat, who had little defensive answer against him. As he did all season, Simmons continually lowered his head and barreled his way to the rim. Sharich had double figures in scoring in four of five games against Miami, including at least 20 points three times. That group has proven they can hold their own through a grueling regular season, and they don't lack confidence. Now, winning games in the conference semifinals and finals isn't easy, and it sometimes takes setbacks to learn how to win those games. More NBA 3. Experienced Vets General Manager Brian Galongello paid JJ Redick $23 million to make threes and provide a veteran presence. Redick did exactly that, averaging 17.1 points and shooting 42% on threes during the regular season. Amir Johnson also helped Redick with locker room culture. Bellinelli and Ursin Ilyasova were outstanding pickups in the buyout market and should continue to be productive in the playoffs. Four. Coaching Brett Brown deserves significant credit for the development of the Sixers. He coached them through horrible seasons, 19 wins in 2013-14, 18 in 2014-15 and 10 in 2015-16, and never let losses detract from his enthusiasm. He remained focused on the big picture, which was teaching players how to play the right way with the idea that this moment would arrive. While Brown had never been in the playoffs as a head coach, he was on Greg Popovich's San Antonio staff for four NBA titles. It's safe to surmise he learned a thing or two about coaching in big games. Five. 
vulnerable East top seed Toronto, Boston and fourth seed Cleveland will play at least six games in the first round. Toronto and Boston have only one at home, and Cleveland has struggled to hold beats against Indiana. The Raptors, Celtics and Cavaliers are not inspiring. They all look vulnerable, follow USA Today Sports Jeff Silgett on Twitter.